Covent Garden is one of my favorite areas in London, so I'm gonna tell you what to do and see around there. Charles from the YouTube channel Wondergasm has helped me film this video, so after you watch this one, make sure you pop over to his channel and watch our area guide to Soho, which is very close to Covent Garden, so you wanna see both at the same time. Let's do it. Number one, check out the street performers. Covent Garden is famous for its street performers all around Covent Garden Square. They're actually pretty good because they all have to audition for their time slot. They're pretty strict and only the best ones get a slot. So you'll always find people just sitting on the curbs and watching all the street performers. Number two, visit Seven Dials. Seven Dials is essentially a roundabout with seven streets coming off of it. Makes sense? It's technically London's only village and can be a bit quieter than Covent Garden Square. So if it's super crazy there, head over to Seven Dials. There's a secret little alleyway that brings you to Neil's yard. This is a little square that you're definitely gonna wanna visit. You've probably seen photos of its very colorful buildings. And on the square, there's a few shops and food spots with healthy and organic related products like Neil's Yard Remedies. This is also the place you're gonna wanna get an Instagram shot of those colorful buildings. Just hope that there's no construction like there was when I went to film that day. Number three, shop the markets. There are a few markets around Covent Garden where vendors sell all types of things. Apple Market is the biggest and probably the easiest to find as it's right in Covent Garden Square. But then there's also Jubilee Market very close by. Both markets can be really good for souvenir hunting because they have little London tidbits. There's also clothing, hand made crafts, food, things like that. And on Mondays they have antiques, so if that's your thing, make sure you get there on a Monday. Number four, visit the London Transport Museum. If you're a transport nerd or a train nerd, then this is a museum that you don't wanna miss because you'll learn all about the history of London's transportation systems. Adult tickets, however, are a steep 17 pounds each, but kids under 18 can go in for free and the adult ticket lasts for an entire year, so you can always sell it to one of your friends who's coming to London later. But if you're really not into that price, you can always just go into the gift shop, which has some of the best underground themed souvenirs I have seen anywhere in London. Number five, Instagram a row of telephone boxes. It sounds a little basic, but every time I Instagram this, people go crazy. There's a spot next to the Royal Opera House that has a row of four red telephone boxes right beside a gorgeous statue of a dancer, and it makes for the most beautiful Instagram photo. So get to the Royal Opera House, go to Bow Street. If you find the ZZs, it's just to the right of it. And if you take the photo, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can see it. Number six, grab some street snacks. If you get a bit hungry while you're walking around Covent Garden, there are loads of places where you can get street snacks, as I call them. You can get cupcakes from Lola's Cupcakes, really nice mushy hot cookies from Ben's Cookies. There's plenty of places to grab some ice cream, really anything you could want. Number seven, browse the shops. There are tons of shops around Covent Garden for beauty, clothing, and lots of other stuff. The shops are mostly high-end, but there's some budget-friendly shops too. But if you're a beauty lover, this is the place to go because almost every beauty brand has a shop here. So go on, just spend some money, why don't you? So to help you enjoy Covent Garden even more, I've created a downloadable Covent Garden guide, which you can get if you click the card up here or the link down in the description. That's completely free. So pause the video, go download that, then come back and visit the Soho guide that we filmed over on Wandergasm's channel for things to do and see around Soho area. If you like this type of guide, give it a thumbs up so I know and I'll start making more if you like them. That's it, see you in the next video. trip to London. Well, I'm gonna tell you. And I've got a 